Hey guys, welcome to the HitLab Hitting Development Course, week four. To recap what we've done so far, we talked about hand path, what we want to be having our handle on our barrel doing when we make contact with the ball. We want to have a good path. The main two things over and over again, staying through the ball, not cutting across it, and then having an upward trajectory with their hands and with the barrel. You know, how do we accomplish that? We talked about moving the bat, but not just our arms, we're working on using our body our core, we're going to work a little bit more on the lower body this week, and really this concept of having patience with their handle, not being in a rush to move the bat, let our body move the bat. Okay, so we've talked about, you know, how our body gets into position with the side bend and hip hinge. We worked on in week two, getting into this hip hinge position. We're going to work on this some more this week, and really getting into a good position to hit at the end of our stride, okay? That's what we're going to work on. We're going to really pull together in terms of both our upper body and lower body. We're going to really try to we get ourselves in the barrel in a good position to hit. Okay, that's going to be our focus. All right, so we're doing this. We're going to be doing some flashlight drills. We're going to really emphasize this. I don't think we've really quite hit that home. I think some of us still have some lagging barrels at the end of our stride that puts us in a position where we're really going to try to cut across the ball. Okay, so we're going to continue to work on this stuff. We're going to continue the knockdown hip hinge. We're going to, I'm going to show you this concept of showing the class ring to, your, to the dugout. And we're going to go through that. And we're working on our stride. We're going to work on striding downhill. Some of you guys have some, some rear leg cave, and so we're going to try to get into a better position. And from that, we're going to get into this separation position where we can really use our body well. Okay? So it's a lot. We're going to try to pull it all together this week. Okay, so let's look at some video and some guys and some stuff I'm talking about here. So like I said, my favorite guy for the stride is like an Adrian Gonzalez. And you can see as you start in your stride here, He's already going to kind of engage this hip hinge, okay? And so, you know, as I say, it's kind of unbroken, or it's kind of broken. You know, if you, if you stay very, very tall, it's just kind of hard to in, hinge that. If, if you basically break this hinge as you stride out, it's kind of going to take care of itself. You can see here, as he strides out, he's going to get into this really good position, okay? And let's watch his barrel here. So he's going to start with the barrel pretty much on his shoulder, and he's going to stride out and get the barrel in a really good position to hit, okay? So let's look at this from the side. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with this class ring concept, okay? And so here he is. That's a really good position. So pretty much on the shoulder. And if we were to see his class ring, it would be sticking right at us, okay? He's showing us his class ring if it's on his top hand, all right? He's really showing it to that opposing dugout. And when you do that, when you show that class ring, it really puts your barrel in a really good position. It's going to be over our head instead of behind it. You know, it's not going to get trapped. Okay, so that's one of the concepts we're really going to work on. You, like I said, the coach calls this a flashlight drill. If there's a flashlight shining out from the bottom of his handle, it's going to be right at the catcher's feet. All right, this is a really, really important thing. Okay, so we're going to work on this, and we're also going to look at his lower body here. Okay, let's watch his rear leg and his rear knee. See how he gets himself going forward, but that rear knee is going to stay back. It's not going to cave in. You know, he looks like he's going to bulldoze somebody. Okay, instead of his his hips. His hips really caving back and his shoulders tipping back. You can really see his hips or his, his shoulders rather are really downhill. He's about to block somebody. So this is you know what I call like striding downhill. Like if you're going to hit somebody, you're going to knock them down here instead of them knocking you back. Okay. So we're going to work into getting this position. You know, separating our hands from our body, getting this stride downhill, showing the class finger, or showing the class ring to our dugout, and from there you can really see the, the swing is just going to happen. This is going to be a lot easier to do if we're in a good position. Okay, so another guy I like to show for this stuff is, is the Jose Batista. You can see here, he's kind of already got that hinge a little bit broken in his stance, and so from there, it's going to be really easy to do. You can see he doesn't really have the barrel in position yet, but as he strides out, he's going to get it into a good position. Okay, you can see the hip hinge, you can see how his fingers are going to the other side, showing that dug out the class ring. All right, that's a really important position. All right, babe, babe. Sorry, my dog. Okay, so you see here, not in a position to hit the barrel, and then as he strides out, we're going to work and really show that other dog out, that glass ring. Okay, you guys see how he did that? Where we couldn't see the glass ring before, but now we can. So he's in a really, really good position to hit here. Same thing, rear knee behind the hip, in a good position. You can see his hips are level, shoulders are down, he's striding downhill. Okay, one more I'm going to show is um, Carlos Correa. Same thing, you see here, as the pitcher comes forward, he's going to what? Break his hinge, and then strive forward. You can see his hip hinge, he's in a really good position to hit. See the barrel? Up over his head instead of behind his head. Really, really important. 
Okay, looking at this from the side as he watches his ball fly out of the park. Same thing, break the hinge, move forward, stride downhill, get into a good position. We can see his knuckles, he's showing us that class ring that puts the barrel in a really good position overhead, rear leg back, shoulders down, in a really, really strong position. Okay, so all right, so that's our focus this week. We're going to work on our stride, we're going to work on getting in a position where we can get separation. Okay. So we're going to work on these conditioning movements. We're going to work on some lower power. We're going to work on how to stride downhill. Really, really important concepts. We're going to work on our flashlight drill over and over. We're going to load it. We're going to figure out how to get this barrel into a good position where we can separate and our swing kind of takes care of itself. We're going to continue to hit on this hip hinge. Some of you guys are still a little tall, so we're going to do the too low drill, or basically I say, if you think you're too low, you're not low enough. All right. And so our focus on this, guys, again, Stride downhill. You're going to bulldoze people, all right? You're not going to let the pitcher put you, push you back, and we're going to show our class ring while we load. All right? See you guys on Tuesday.